The International Space Station, or ISS, represents one of humanity's most ambitious engineering achievements. Orbiting Earth at an altitude of approximately 420 kilometers, this space-based laboratory has been continuously inhabited since the year 2000. However, as the ISS nears the end of its planned operational life in 2030, discussions about its expansion, evolution, and potential successes have intensified. In this video, we will explore the developments surrounding the ISS's expansion, the technical challenges, the international partnerships involved, and what the future might hold for human habitation in low Earth orbit. The ISS currently comprises 16 pressurized modules, along with a host of external trusses, solar panels, and docking ports. Over the years, it has grown in size and complexity, from its initial single module, Zaria, launched in 1998, to its current configuration, a sprawling structure with a mass of over 420 metric tons. The station's design allows for modular expansion, and it has seen several additions, including laboratory modules from the United States, Europe, Japan, and Russia. Notable expansions include the Columbus Laboratory from the European Space Agency, installed in 2008, and the Japanese Kibo module, added the same year. Each expansion of the ISS has been a testament to international cooperation. The United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and the European Space Agency have contributed significantly to its construction and operations. But now, as we look to extend the ISS's capabilities, new players are entering the field. One major development is the addition of commercial modules. In 2021, NASA selected Axiom Space to build and attach the first privately funded modules to the ISS. These modules, set to launch in the mid-2020s, will include a research laboratory, manufacturing facilities, and even accommodations for private astronauts. This marks a significant shift toward commercializing low-Earth orbit, a trend that could define the ISS's future. Axiom's modules are designed to eventually detach and form the core of an independent commercial space station. This approach ensures continuity in human spaceflight capabilities after the ISS is retired. However, integrating these modules poses significant challenges. The ISS was not originally designed to accommodate such large-scale additions so late in its lifespan. Engineers must account for issues like structural stress, power distribution, and thermal control. Moreover, as the ISS ages, wear and tear on its systems increases the complexity of such integrations. Another focus of ISS expansion involves scientific capabilities. While the station has supported groundbreaking research in fields like microgravity, biology, and materials science, its current facilities have limitations. To address this, new external platforms are being developed to host advanced experiments. For instance, the Bartolomeo platform, installed on the European Columbus module in 2020, allows researchers to mount payloads externally, exposing them to the vacuum of space. This opens up opportunities for studying space weather, testing materials, and even developing new technologies for future missions to the Moon and Mars. Power generation is another critical aspect of the ISS's expansion. The station's original solar arrays, installed over two decades ago, have degraded over time. To address this, NASA and Boeing are upgrading the ISS with new solar arrays known as IROSA, or International Space Station Rollout Solar Arrays. These arrays are lighter and more efficient, providing a significant boost to the station's power capacity. The first IROSA arrays were installed in 2021, with additional units planned in the coming years. This upgrade not only extends the ISS's operational life but also supports the energy needs of new modules and scientific experiments. However, expansion is not without its challenges. The ISS's aging infrastructure presents ongoing maintenance issues. Micrometeorod impacts, radiation exposure, and thermal cycling have caused wear on critical systems like cooling loops, docking ports, and pressurized modules. For example, in 2021, a small air leak in the Russian Zvezda module highlighted the need for continuous monitoring and repairs. 
While astronauts have proven adept at addressing such issues, the increasing frequency of these incidents raises questions about how long the ISS can remain viable. Political dynamics also play a crucial role in the ISS's future. The station was built on the foundation of international collaboration, but tensions among participating nations can complicate decision-making. For instance, Russia has announced plans to build its own space station by the late 2020s, potentially withdrawing from the ISS partnership. At the same time, countries like China, which is not part of the ISS program, are advancing their own capabilities. China's Tiangong space station, launched in 2021, is rapidly expanding and could become a competitor to the ISS in the coming years. Commercial partnerships offer a potential solution to these challenges. Companies like SpaceX and Boeing have already demonstrated their ability to transport crew and cargo to the ISS, reducing reliance on government-funded programs. These partnerships could also help offset operational costs, which currently amount to over $3 billion annually for NASA alone. NASA's commercial LEO development program aims to establish a sustainable low-Earth orbit economy by transitioning responsibilities to private companies. This approach ensures continued access to space for research and technology development while freeing up resources for deep space exploration. As we look beyond the ISS, several concepts for next-generation space stations are under consideration. Some proposals focus on modular designs similar to the ISS, while others envision smaller, more specialized platforms. Blue Origin's Orbital Reef, for example, is pitched as a mixed-use business park in space, catering to industries ranging from research to tourism. Meanwhile, NASA's Artemis program aims to establish a lunar gateway, a space station orbiting the moon that could serve as a stepping stone for missions to Mars. Lessons learned from the ISS's expansion will undoubtedly inform the design and operation of these future outposts. The International Space Station has served as a symbol of human ingenuity and cooperation for nearly a quarter century. Its expansion represents more than just technological progress. It is a stepping stone toward humanity's broader ambitions in space. But as we invest in its future, we must also confront the challenges of maintaining an aging structure, balancing international partnerships, and navigating the transition to commercial spaceflight. These efforts will determine not only the ISS's legacy, but also the trajectory of human space exploration for decades to come. Thank you for watching. If you found this exploration of the ISS's expansion insightful, consider subscribing for more in-depth analyses of space exploration and technology.